Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to the last candle review of the day. If you missed it, I did review two other new country candle Christmas fragrances already today. Um, if you are interested in my thoughts on the Cran Apple Toddy as well as the Fireside Chai, I will link both videos in the description box right below this one. Um, if you are at all interested in either of those two fragrances and you are very particular about strength and throw um, definitely check those out because they were a little bit lighter um, not a little bit uh, I would say a decent amount lighter than what I am used to when it comes to country candle um, that is not the case with this one. Uh, this uh, gingerbread tiramisu is actually a much better performer in terms of strength and throw. So, um, but like I said, if you're interested in either of those two other fragrances, I will link the reviews in the description box down below. Feel free to check them out. Um, but in this video, obviously we are getting into the gingerbread tiramisu. Um, if you would like to purchase this candle, there will be a link in the description box as well as a discount code that'll save you 15% off of your purchase. Feel free to use that if you are interested. It is an affiliate discount code, so do be aware of that. Um, you can also use your rewards as well over at uh, Kringle Candles. So let's dive into the description of this one and talk about the fragrance notes, what I actually smell, strength and throw, any burn issues, and then we'll wrap it up for the day. All right, so the description here reads, well, well it actually says wham. I think it's supposed to say warm. Um, I catch a decent amount of typos sometimes when it comes to Kringle, so I'm gonna have to pass that one along, but I believe it's supposed to say warm notes of toasted ginger snap cookies laced with invigorating hints of dark roast coffee beans sweet sugar sprinkles, and an accent of pure vanilla. The top notes here are spice and pastry. The mid notes are coffee bean and sh brown sugar. And then the base is spice and butter. So what do I smell in here? First of all, I have to admit that normally most gingerbread fragrances are a little bit too, a little too spicy, a little too, intense on the ginger for me um ginger can be a little sharp to my nose and when i look at um purchasing like any type of gingerbread candle i'm really picky about those things um this particular gingerbread is not a super spicy ginger base so it makes it much more enjoyable to my nose um, even though ginger isn't listed in any of the fragrance notes, it really does present itself as a very kind of demure, I guess you could say, gingerbread um, at the base of this. You get that nice, like, kind of warm, um, soft gingerbread. You know what this reminds me of the most is... Um, in, uh, if you're German <laughs> or if you've ever been to Germany and you have been to any of the Christmas markets there, they have these, uh, they're like giant gingerbread hearts usually, and they are decorated with icing. Um, that particular gingerbread is my favorite gingerbread because again, it's not the super spicy, but it's really soft and almost kind of spongy feeling. And that's the gingerbread that I'm smelling here. It is really a, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's one of those like a nostalgic. It's one of those nostalgic gingerbread notes. Um, I find that a lot of American gingerbread that I've tried is a lot more, like I said, heavy on the ginger and the spice. Whereas the German version is a little bit lighter on the spice and the ginger, but you still get that really beautiful like gourmand note throughout. It smells like just a big, soft gingerbread cookie. I love this ginger. Like this to me is the type of gingerbread that I would enjoy during the holidays. 
So that's what I'm smelling here. Um, I really don't get any of the tiramisu components though that are mentioned here. So the coffee, um, I don't really get that. Um, I guess that would be the main component, right? Like, uh, obviously when you are making tiramisu, you're typically, uh, soaking the, the lady fingers, which are those long cookies in, uh, I believe it's usually espresso that they're soaked in. Um, but I'm not getting that here. There's, there's no coffee to this one at all. But what I do really smell is a healthy dose of brown sugar. So there is a decent amount of kind of that brown sugar slash molasses type note in here. Um, the molasses is not overwhelming. It, there's not so much of it that this becomes cloying to my nose. It's really kind of the perfect blend of all of the things that I normally don't typically care for all that much or tend to be a little bit more particular about. Um, in terms of the spice that's in here, it, there is the usual, you know, spice of cinnamon, maybe a little bit of nutmeg, maybe even a touch of cardamom. Um, it's a really nice spice blend, but it's not an overwhelming spice blend. Um, it's not like the other, what is the, it's in the Kringle line. Mm. Okay, I'll have to put it in a little annotation here. Is it Frosted Spice? <laughs> Why can I not think of the name of it? Anyway, um, it's it's not like the spicy uh, Kringle Core fragrance that was released for this holiday season. It's a little bit subdued from that. Um, but yeah, you guys, this smells like a delicious, soft uh, German gingerbread for the most part. Um, but if you are looking for that tiramisu component, I don't really get it here. There is a richness to the fragrance, which I think is what that butter is implying. And there is a definite pastry note for sure. So you're getting all of that, but you're, mm, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm immune to the coffee. I love the smell of coffee. And I do think Kringle has had some great fragrances in the past that do have a very noticeable coffee component, but that's just not what I'm smelling in here. So overall, you guys, this is a gingerbread that I really enjoy. And I will definitely be picking up, if not another candle, then at the very least the wax melts to be able to enjoy this holiday season. It really does remind me of going to the German Christmas markets when I was younger and purchasing, well, my Oma used to actually get them for me usually, those big gingerbread hearts. Um, raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. They are very, like, they're a very classic, like, Christmas market thing for little kids. Um, I used to always eat mine, um, but I would wait until the gingerbread hardened a little bit because I just always thought they were so pretty. Um, they always have like really pretty icing designs on them, but by the time that I would get around to eating those, I would peel off the icing bits and then um, have a slightly chewier, not, not crunchy, but definitely a chewier type of gingerbread experience. Should have probably eaten them when they're fresh. They really are best when they're fresh, so. All right, you guys, strength and throw. Listen, this one is more in the lines of what I'm used to when it comes to country candle for strength and throw performance. The other two were lighter. Um, the, and by the other two, I mean the earlier two that I reviewed today. So the strength and throw of this one kind of has been waffling between a six and a seven. Typically, that's kind of more of the range that I'm used to. I will say I was surprised that the first couple burns started out as a six. It really has picked up to more of a seven the further down that I've gotten in this candle. Now, I will say I do wish it was even a little bit stronger than that seven, however. Um, and the throw is probably about a six. It doesn't travel quite as far as I would like it to. It is absolutely a room filler. It is absolutely going to spill out of the room where you have it, but this does not really travel far to other parts of my house. If this is one of your first videos with me, first of all, welcome. Um, but I live in a 
early 2000s open concept high ceiling type of home and so for me um, a lot of my candles do have the opportunity to travel from room to room because there's not a whole lot stopping them from doing that in terms of walls or doors um, I think if you had a home where the rooms were a little bit more enclosed Maybe you have lower ceilings. I have a feeling you might get a little bit more out of this one than what I'm getting, but the performance is adequate by my standards. It's adequate enough to where I would repurchase this. And just an FYI, this one was sent to me in PR. I am a Kringle ambassador or affiliate, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this one was sent for free, but I am going to be repurchasing this myself. Um, it is really delicious. I think this is a gingerbread that a lot of people would enjoy. But again, if you're looking for the tiramisu, I'm not getting that part. So just be abundantly aware of that. Now, in terms of burn, um, I feel like this is giving me a really good, solid, clean burn. I know there are a lot of people out there who are still really bummed out that Kringle did away with the paraffin in their country candle line. I was not one of those people because I have always found paraffin to be a lot more dirty in terms of the overall burn. And I have to say, for me, I would rather have a candle that is a touch lighter um, and have a cleaner burn because I, I don't personally have the money to repaint my house anytime soon we did repaint this entire home um after a couple years of living here and the expense of that was wild there are i think like 20 foot ceilings in the entryway here there's no way that i can repaint this myself and i'm not spending another like fifteen thousand dollars to repaint this house it's not happening anytime soon that was a huge investment and um, it's not gonna happen. So I have to be really careful about the overall quality of the candles that I burn. The Kringle Soy formulation is the cleanest burn that I have come across, even more so than I would say probably other candle companies that I tend to frequent. Um, with those, I just limit the burn to about three hours max, and that helps to control any potential issues. But with the Kringle Soy, I do go hours beyond that usually. Um, I have not been going too far over four, four and a half hours with these country candles. And as you can see, there really is no discoloration in the wax. There's obviously this line of demarcation here where you can see the, the last wax pool ended. Um, I think the wax pool is maybe a little bit smaller on these country candle jars this go around, but still enough to crank out a decent amount of fragrance with this one here. Again, not the case with the other two that I reviewed today, but this one here is giving me more of the performance that I personally like. Um, these wicks, I only kind of nip off the very top where there's a slight mushroom top that forms. Um, so I will nip that off with my scissors and then I just kind of go. I have not been wiping these wicks at all. And as you can see, I'm just gonna kind of, this hasn't been lit, so obviously it hasn't completely pulled out, but it's not hot enough right now for this to be super crazy hot for me to not be able to do this. But as you can see, there is a slight amount of discoloration on my finger here, but not much at all. So there is a little bit that is collecting around the edge of the jar there, but it's still it's still doing good by my standards personally. Did it focus again? There we go. Um, yeah, I I I really like the quality of this burn and as much as strength and throw is important to me, as much as um, you know the fragrance is important to me, it is almost more important to me at this point that I don't cause damage to our home with candles that have a dirty burn. So 
I'm pleased with this, but you know, you'll definitely have to decide for yourself. Um, there are still a lot of other candle companies out there that are using paraffin wax. So Candleberry, uh, is it Candleberry? I think they have a soy paraffin blend. What am I thinking of? A cheerful giver. Yeah, those guys. I believe that they still probably have paraffin as well. Um, anyway, you can still find lots of paraffin candles, but you know, this soy formulation here really kind of is something that I have gotten hooked on and I feel like I don't have to worry about these candles as much. So if that's something that you're concerned about as well, I would look into 100% soy formulations. Um, and listen, Country Candle and Kringle Candle aren't the only ones that have an exclusively soy formula. There are lots of other candle companies that do as well, but this one I do think is a great clean burning formulation. So if that's important to you, have at it. Anyway, you guys, I'm giving this one two thumbs up. I am definitely pleased with the fragrance itself. I am pleased with the performance and the burn has been pretty good. So nothing to complain about for me. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have purchased this one and what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Um, I am back at work this week. We have uh, an installation that we're doing somewhere. It's, it's kind of a lot of work. So um, I will be sharing some more in-depth candle reviews from the Kringle Holiday line, um, but it might be on Sunday that you see another round of these. So um, stay tuned. If you're new, I would love it if you would take the time to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.